We got some beautiful leading lines here in the landscape. It's really life changing because I already had something in my mind that I wanted to shoot. But it's just a little bit out of focus because it's uh, so close in the foreground. Starting photography and also especially going onto YouTube. This is not what I've, uh, what I've been expecting. They cut everything down here. My apps were all telling me it's gonna be misty today. And in the far side of the landscape, there's a little bit of mist. But here in the landscape, we have a little bit of a haze, but that's it. And I was really thinking I could shoot uh, like a beautiful tree in this hillside here with some mist around it. But uh, I thought wrong. <laughs> the apps told me something different. We got some beautiful leading lines here in the landscape. It's something, I don't know. Uh, the last week's video, I was shooting in this forest. So maybe I'm gonna go back in that forest, try to find some cool compositions again without any light. The overcast today is uh, much thicker than uh, yesterday. Yesterday we got a little bit of very soft sunlight coming through. But now it's really, it's really thick, the, the cloud, so and I'm not going to wish for any good light. Maybe today is one of those days that I better don't try to promise you guys anything. <laughs> I took this shot from the big trees here on the left and then the leading line with the, the fence going into the landscape. And for me the composition, it's good on its own but not strong enough. But I really like the leading lines in the landscape. The fence that is leading our eye into this picture. And on the left hand side we got the two big beautiful trees. One with some uh, brown leaves on it or yellowish leaves on it. And the other one has none anymore. It really intrigues me, but I don't know if the composition is strong enough on its own to be a very good photo or not. Looking on the back of the screen, this photo is just a little bit too dull, it's a little bit too boring, and there's less fog than I hoped for. Maybe I'm blocking myself to capture a beautiful image, because I already had something in my mind that I wanted to shoot. I see a lot of mist on top of the forest here in the back. So I think I'm gonna go back into the forest and search for something I wasn't looking for. Yesterday evening I was thinking by myself how, yes I can think for myself here, yeah. how photography changed my life and not, not like in a fin financial way like I got freedom and that stuff, it's actually the opposite. Photography makes your bank account go empty, <laughs> yeah, but it changed my life because uh, I'm going places instead of staying home because before I started doing photography uh, I was playing the guitar. Playing the guitar was for me uh, playing at home. I was not really going places from time to time. We went on uh, holidays, me and my wife. But that's it. But now with uh, doing photography I'm uh, always looking for new places to visit, to go shoot. So I'm always thinking how can I go to that place or when can we go to that place. But like photography is also super healthy because I'm always out. Uh, most of the time it's uh, by myself. So I'm always walking alone and uh, it's really good 
for the mental health, especially for me this year was a little bit difficult because uh, I got a lot of stress this year and uh, I was making myself sick because of the I got so much stress. But that's uh, it's all better now. Somehow I got uh, got over it, so I'm uh, back to normal. And also the benefits of doing photography is. You're constantly working with your brain. I'm always searching to create some, some art. So that's also an improvement to keep your mind busy. We just have to keep ourselves occupied a little bit with our brain and stay healthy. So I'm just entered the forest. I'm again, like in the previous video, I'm uh, just against this uh, little stream here. And yesterday I was a little bit late to go eat with my family, eat a morning meal. So today I'm gonna be quicker and really go eat with my family. Been searching for a place to cross, but uh, I, can't, I can't find any place to cross this little river. It's, uh, it's not super deep, but just deep enough to get your feet, to get your feet wet. And also, it looks very strong, so I think if I would fall, or step into the river probably will take me down into the river so that's that what I'm looking for I hope you guys can see this but this it looks like a little bit of a, a pathway that uh, caught my eye and uh, it looks uh, for me really interesting in real life it looks a little bit more dramatic because in the foreground it's a lot darker and in the middle there's a little bit of more light. It really caught my eye because the trees are on uh, one line leading our eye into the back of this forest. So I'm gonna try to shoot a vertical photo. I've put my uh, Tamron 70 to 300 on here. We are at a focal length of uh, 125 or 130. And I'm zoomed in a little bit in this pathway into the forest. In the foreground we have uh, a little super small new tree but it's just a little bit out of focus because it's uh, so close in the foreground and then i'm focused more where there's more light in the middle of the frame and then it gets darker when we're going back further into the for into the landscape i shot this picture at iso 100 f8 our shutter speed is 1 8 of a second it's 1.6 of a second actually <laughs> And also another way how photography changed my life is that I'm uh, getting to meet you guys when you are reacting to the video or you get in touch with me. It really means the world to me that you're responding to my videos because I'm just a nobody who picked up the camera and also started recording himself talking to the people who are watching my videos and uh, that's super amazing. By the way, if you didn't see the last video, I shot this tree yesterday with a little bit of beautiful light. So go go watch that video if you didn't see us. Go watch that video if you didn't see that video. And I'm also getting in touch with other photographers like uh, Andy from Andy H Photography. Focusing on the waterfall again. It's eight seconds at f8. Keith from the clueless YouTuber. The usage of a wide angle, wide aperture lens, and that's why I got the Sony 24mm f1.4 G Master. So uh, go check them out. It's really life changing starting photography and also especially going onto YouTube. That really changed everything. It's given me a purpose to pursue something in my life, to keep myself occupied and don't do drugs. <laughs> When I was trying to cross that little river here and I saw this super cool tree that is uh, really curved and a lot of moss on it. And it, from, the other, from, the, from the other side it looked really cool. So I hope it also looks cool in person. I 
just found a gem here in this forest. It's a super cool tree. It looks phenomenal. It's like uh, something I've never seen before. My first time see seeing this in real life. Super cool. Because there's a little bit of wind here going through the forest, uh, the leaves on my beautiful tree here are a little bit moving. So I bumped up my ISO to bump up my shutter speed. Now my image is a little bit dark. So I think I can push up the shadows a little bit in uh, post-processing. But I also want to keep a little bit of a dramatic uh, atmosphere here. Because our tree gets lit up by the light that's coming into the forest. But around this tree, it's uh, all covered with other trees. So everywhere else, this tree gets uh, blocked from light. So the only light coming into this forest on the tree is from top down. So that makes it for a really dramatic image. Our tree is standing on some rocks. That's super amazing with some moss on it. And the tree has beautiful colors, orange colors. That's amazing. I was uh, walking here searching for the other composition I was talking talking about and uh, this eye uh, this tree caught my eye and I was like whoa damn that's a super cool nice looking tree but for you guys the the light is not looking the same like I'm seeing it right now because on, on the camera uh, everything gets uh, lit up a little bit more so the shadows and the dark parts get uh, pushed up a little bit so it's a little bit of a flat light but it's really way more dramatic, even when I showed the, the, the back of the screen it looks on the camera uh, more flat than it's looking on the camera, it's really dark here. So I think you will be a little bit surprised, I hope, when you see the image on the screen. I took a few different exposures, because in the beginning there was a little bit less wind. I took the, the image a little bit too light, so that's why I started bumping up my shutter speed to make it a little bit dramaticer, a little bit darker. But then the wind kept uh, coming in and keeps pushing onto the leaves. I'm not sure which settings you will see, but uh, they will be down below into the picture. If you like this last photo, give the video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.